Hey, you, I need you to hit the subscribe button below. Hey, what's your name again, bro? Oh, come, oh don't go nowhere, huh? Lucci. Lucci? What's good, Lucci? Your how's here? What's your name? Jericho. Lucci. Jericho, Jericho, Lucci. Y'all brothers, right? Yeah. What did y'all learn so far since you've been out here? After you leave here, right? And what, what was that day called? The law. The law. All praises, all praises. So like he said, you found out you're on the law of God, right? What particular law was he going over? Yeah, but what particular law? Because like he said, he learned about today, right? What law did he just go over with you? The Sabbath day, right? So what else you supposed, what you supposed to do on the Sabbath day? What else? What else? The Hebrews 10, 25. No, 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 no. I'm telling him something. Go ahead. I'm listening. Nah, bro, you good. You, I want to I wanna make sure that y'all retaining the information. You get what I'm saying? Hey, but look, it happens. You know why You know why, You know know why? why it's easy for us to forget? Have you been doing the Sabbath day? Nah, right? Exactly. So so if we don't do the thing, it's going to be hard to remember, right? So matter of fact, get Psalms 111 and 10. Hold that real quick. Read that. Read that and then get Psalms 111 and 10. Now, Part of the Sabbath day is you got to hang around with brothers that's keeping the Sabbath day. Because right. guess what we're going to do um, in our school across the street? We're going to go in the building and do an, uh, what God commanded is holy convocate, meaning a separate gathering. You know, I like how you chill with your boys in the world. Well, God said you're supposed to chill with the people that's trying to do the day so you can remember the day. You understand? Yeah, meaning you got to take your feet up and walk your behind to the school or drive to the school. That's the energy you got to do. Now, check this out. Listen up, listen up. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 25. Uh -huh. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. God said, don't take for granted you hanging out with the same person that believes that he's an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. You from the tribe of Levi. He said, don't take that for granted coming together because when y'all come together you know what happens y'all grow together you understand read as the manner of some is there's some people you listening up there's some people that notice you know what they're not gonna do they're not gonna come in the building exactly but guess what they ain't gonna do it they ain't gonna like you said energy they ain't gonna put for the energy to come in the building but they're gonna put for the energy to turn up tonight because they're not doing the right actions read but exhorting one another. Then when you come in the building, we're going to exhort each other. Hey, bro, I had a rough week. Me too. Check it out. That's in the scripture. How do we get past that? This is how you do it. Let's go out here. Let's go hand out some flyers. Let's go read together. Let's build together. You understand that? You're having a bad day. You can't be around a brother that's like, man, I had a worse day than you. That's going to bring down your energy, right? So you got to get around somebody that's going to do what? But exhorting one another. You want somebody that's going to build you up like, bro, we're the Israelites. You're going through hell, but God going to come back and go kill the people that's putting you through hell. Exhorting each other, right? Read. And so much the more as you see the day approaching. Like you said, Christ coming back. We recognize the day is coming. So even more so, we should put forth the energy to get around brothers and sisters that's doing the commandments, right? right. Psalms 111 and 10. Psalms 111 and 10. Come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. So now, when you start coming together in the building, doing the commandment, right? Read. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. God said y'all got wisdom because y'all smart, because y'all doing what he said to do. That means you're trying to come out the matrix. Read it again. Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. Uh -huh. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The person that understands that God's judgment is this, slavery, having a white man on your neck right the person that starts to fear god and keep the sabbath day coming in the building it's the beginning of what is the beginning of wisdom that means you're starting to get smart right right that means you respect him yeah you understand i respect myself yes but do you respect god yes all praises read a good understanding so now remember what i explained to y'all about remembering stuff right 
When you remember things, that means you're getting smart, you're getting a good understanding, meaning, you know what? I'm getting a good understanding of what the Sabbath day is really about, right? Read. A good understanding uh -huh. have all they that do his commandments. What, what has to happen? That do his commandments. You got to come in the building and start applying the commandments. Because y'all could go home and not cook, not buy, sell, and all of that. But to get a good understanding, what has to happen? A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. You got to start doing the commandments. So check this out. What y'all going to do tomorrow? You going to do the commandment and respect yourself and respect your God? And come in the building? You got no choice. So you going to come then? So you going to call that number to the back of the fire and come in the building? Now, hey, it's yes or no, bro, because you know what is a strong possibility? Bro, it's a strong possibility me and you might not even live to see tomorrow. It's a strong possibility you might not see another day. You understand that? We black men out here, bro. We getting killed. Your word live on? But guess what? Get 1 Samuel 2 and 3. Hey, listen, you see all that deep stuff you're talking? That's all good and dandy, but God don't care about that. He care about actions. I'm going to read it to you. Come on. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 2 and verse 3. Don't go nowhere. Come on, big bro. Come around, man. I, and I agree with you. I, I agree with you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right. 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 Romans 7 and 12. So, so check this out. So check this out. So check this out. You want to surpass this level, right? All right. So I'm going to show you how to surpass this level. Romans 7 and 12. Because the brother says spiritual, right? Spiritual, right? That's what we're going to deal with real quick. Come on. Romans chapter 7 and verse 12. Wherefore, the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just and good. Verse 14. Verse 14. For we know that the law is spiritual. The law is what? The law is spirit. The law is what? The law is spirit. Keeping the Sabbath day is spiritual. Because when you do the commandments, you come out of this physical and you get to heaven, the kingdom. Read it again. Verse 14. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal. Sold under sin. Because like you said, we carnal right now because we be doing sin. But you found out if you don't come in the building tomorrow, that sin. And I want to see you get out of here. All of us trying to get up out of here. Right, right. Matthew chapter 19. Come show them how to get up out of here. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth